This has been my go-to makeup routine lately and I wanna tell you about a few brushes I love. I'm buffing my foundation in with a Morphe buffing brush. I love this brush. It cleans really easily and it does a great job of blending in foundation without leaving any lines. For my under eye concealer, I've been using a damp beauty blender and I find that works best for blending the product into my skin and not lifting off too much product or leaving any creases behind. Here I'm just dusting a little bit of setting powder under my eyes and now I'm using a Makeup by Mario brush. This is perfect for how I like to do my eyeshadow. There's a flat side to apply the cream eyeshadow and blend it in and then a rounder side for powder eyeshadow to add a little bit more depth at the crease. You could also use this brush for under your eyes. A flat side for cream concealer and then a rounder side for setting powder. I'm using a different brush since I'm applying a little bit of powder just to soften the line from the cream eyeshadow to my skin color. And now I've flipped the brush around and I'm using the powder eyeshadow side to put a little bit of depth at my crease. I cannot quit this NYX Epic Liner and it even has a brush on the other end of it. I do like to use a smudge brush though to soften the eyeliner and to bring that product under my eye. You can see I'm using it there. It's just the easiest way to soften it out, but again, this eyeliner I'm using does come with a flat brush on the other side. Never skip smudging your under eye eyeliner. It's the best way to soften it out. Now I'm just doing a little bit of my eyebrows and we'll finish the face. I've been experimenting with cream bronzer and I found a flat top buffing brush has been my favorite tool for really blending the product in and not using a brush too small to make the bronzer too concentrated. Here I'm applying a bit of cream blush and then I'll just use my go-to blush brush to blend and soften that color in. I'm dusting a little bit of setting powder with some reflection all over the face just for a bit of glow. And let's finish with a little lipstick. It really is all about having good products and the right tools for the job to give you the look you want. So I hope this demo was helpful and maybe you got some brush ideas if you needed some.